Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Sanchez, lead artist at CG Sketch. I thought I'd put together a channel where I could share some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way in a rather quick format so that if you guys are wondering how a specific task is done, you could hopefully find these handy in those instances. In this case, I'd like to show what method I use to quickly simulate wind movement with um, all sorts of uh, landscaping, all sorts of shrubs, trees, grasses, flowers. The method is rather simple and works pretty well. So um, in this case, I have uh, uh, this shrub here, an ornamental grass. Um, and what the method involves basically is to select the edges or the tips of whatever plant you want to simulate anim an animation on and uh, add an animated modifier to it. So in this case, uh, we want to select the, the edges or the tips of this of this grass. Uh, you could do that many ways, like so, for instance, just randomly selecting uh, the edges all around. Uh, another method would be um, using the material ID to quickly select uh, these seeds here, which are material number two, ID number two, so I could just select here and it selects these edges for me. In the case of a tree, you would just select the edges of the branches uh, randomly or, or using the material IDs as I've shown. Uh, now you want to apply a soft selection uh, and play with it so that it creates a nice soft selection to where you want the movement to stop. In the case of a tree, you would use soft selection on the branches, say, to where it hits, for instance, the trunk. Uh, now we want to add an animated modifier and an animated noise modifier to this. So you want to leave this selected, add a noise modifier make sure it's animated and let's say we want it to move three inches in all directions like so let's drop the scale down to 50 let's see what this looks like all right so you see now it's moving but it's it's way too much way too strong and too exaggerated so let's play with this a bit so let's say two inches instead two inches in all directions and the scale, let's drop down, down to 20. And um, let's slow down the movement a bit because it's way too fast. You do that many ways. One such way would be to just animate the phase frequency. So if I hit the auto key here, go to the end of the scene, it's at phase 250. Let's drop it instead to phase 50. So we'll drop down the, um, the movement significantly. And let's see what this looks like. So now the movement is much more subtle, much more realistic. It seems as though the plant is moving gently in the breeze. And, and this method works, as I said, very well with, um, with all sorts of plants. Um, you can also add a, a bend modifier or a twist modifier to um, add more dynamic movement. If you want to convert this to a proxy, you can record this movement using a point cache and then apply the point cache to the proxy and you could go ahead and scatter it with forest pack the, the the method works pretty pretty well and it's pretty convincing um and uh i hope it's beneficial to you guys if you found this useful stick around i'll hopefully be posting a couple more tricks in the next few days thanks for watching